South Korea and the United States have begun their large-scale annual joint military exercises, which will run through the end of this month. The drills are conducted every year to ensure Seoul and Washington are fully prepared to defend against North Korea's evolving threats. But with tensions high on the peninsula and in the region, this year's drills are getting extra attention. Kim Hyun-bin reports from the Defense Ministry. South Korea and the U.S. kicked off on Monday their large-scale joint war game exercise known as Urchi Freedom Guardian. Pyongyang has long denounced the exercise, calling it a rehearsal for a northern invasion. While Seoul and Washington stressed that the drills, which run until August 31st, are purely defensive in nature. The exercise is a computerized command post exercise which excludes field maneuvers. Military officials say that this year's exercise will include a three-step nuclear deterrent strategy, which consists of ways to counter an imminent nuclear launch or threat of a nuclear attack by the regime. South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff officials say that the drills will be smaller in size compared to last year and will involve a reduction in the number of U.S. forces taking part. Around 17-thousand U.S. troops are currently taking part in the drills, while some 25-thousand U.S. soldiers took part last year. According to South Korea's Defense Ministry, 50-thousand South Korean troops are also taking part. It is not yet known if Washington will deploy strategic assets to the peninsula. The two allies have also upped their readiness and surveillance for possible North Korean provocations during the drills. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.